She's a goddess, she calms you down. Went to Italy, ran from town. But the dirt of England calls her back. Those rolling hills leave her Puts her arms around your pain She's the weighing scale of your day As you push them one by one into the car Round the merry-go-round of a west country um, hello and hello. welcome. Hello. <laughs> um, hello. Olivia Cheney, nice to nice to see you nice here at King's Place. Um, first question: uh, Who is Olivia Cheney? You're, you're a busy songwriter and a, and a musician. What, what do you get up to? Um, I thought you were getting metaphysical. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've I've been playing a lot with a lot of other people. Um, but I'm trying to build up sort of doing doing my own solo thing. When I do my solo thing, um, I'm lucky enough to be joined by musicians like Jordan Hunt and Alistair Roberts. And, um, uh, yeah, but I'm really enjoying using all of my different instruments and my different approach to traditional songs and, and covers of of other stuff and then my own material and I, I quite like playing solo as well so but yeah I am hired in to sort of play keys and do BVs for other people every now and again yeah maybe some people would have come across you before before uh, in various guises and various projects maybe mention a few of those um, yeah well I've just just been playing on um, Sefer's album launch Seraphina Sphere that was really great I was doing keys and harmonium and backing vocals with Alice Durham playing lots of harmonium and singing on his album band called Wolf People um, I don't know if you know them I'll be on their album soon um, yeah I did work with a band called Zero Seven a while back and done bits of acting as well at Shakespeare's wow. Globe and yeah and and also singing sort of um, you know, more contemporary classical stuff. Um, yeah, composers like Jocelyn Pook and working with Lemon Sinfinetta and Ollie Coates as well, a cellist, work lots with him, so. You, you've played here before, I believe. Yeah, I sang here with uh, Katia and Marielle Lebec for their amazing minimalist music festival. Wow. Yeah, that was, that was really fun. Yeah, lovely gig, yeah. So, what's the difference between working with other people and now working on your own? Um, I suppose I'd like to think in a way there's there's not a huge difference. I mean, obviously there is, but for me, using my voice and, and using my different skills as a musician, it's, it's all music that I love, hopefully, um, that, I'm, that I'm doing. So I try and increasingly, I think, from my training and my childhood as a musician, it was sort of so various and I think sometimes people do look at my sort of CV as it were and, and go, wow, how, how do you manage to do all of those things and have the same mm. head? But um, I think that's what I've really enjoyed about the last few years and increasingly and also then obviously what feeds into my writing and my own solo shows is that I feel like it is all, it's still really broad, but it's sort of all perhaps, dare I say, more becoming my sound as well mm. and when I'm joining other projects it's I'm bringing my own sound to it rather than being a sort of session musician yeah okay so we're here to talk about the gig at King's Place which yeah. is based around your first ever EP yeah 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 first ever release sort of yeah <laughs> okay so tell me about the planning behind the EP what, what, what did you have a, a master plan or are you just continually recording songs or chaos <laughs> um, sorry, what was the second part you said about the songs? <laughs> How did you select what songs were going to be on this EP? Yeah, that that was um, uh, sort of conceptual in, in, in the sense that uh, I was at a very particular 
time in my life then and and really honestly had had only just come back to to writing I'd sort of put put writing my own songs to one side for a while and I'd quite consciously sort of apprenticed myself to singing trad songs mm -hmm. for a period I felt like I felt like my writing was too self-indulgent and sort of I didn't feel like I had the craft that I wanted and so I really consciously just thought well who are the who are the songwriters that I really rate and then I realized that the more I looked at them they'd all sort of apprenticed themselves to traditional songs so I sort of thought mm, maybe I'm missing something here with all my classical background you know I'd I'd taught myself guitar late after I'd left music college and all these sort of hothouse conservatoires and then I picked up the harmonium. So I sort of did everything a little bit back to front. I did the untrained stuff after I'd trained. Um, anyway, so, so these songs, I'd been doing touring and I'd been doing bits of acting and it had been a really sort of busy, really intense time, but, but, but quite a lot of doing other people's projects. Mm which there's nothing like doing that to really make you suddenly have the, <laughs> have the hunger to do your own thing. Um, and then actually via um, the wonderful cellist, uh, Oliver Coates, um, I'd made a demo, an EP, that um, a few people have got their hands on because I went out to South by Southwest and I needed something to take with me. Okay. And I'd done a session actually for Seth Lakeman and wonderful wonderful engineer and producer who was making his record sort of said oh i'd love to work with you and you know do you, why don't you have any recordings so i made that demo when i gave that to ollie i was sort of saying you know it's great but i, I still want to do something and it, it was about half originals half trad songs mm -hmm. and he said oh i know just the person you should work with and that was leo abrahams and so I approached him and again, I was very lucky with my uh, extremely limited means and budget mm -hmm. that Leo believed in what I was doing enough to sort of say, yeah, let's do it. So that's, that's the very long story behind this EP. Um, yeah, and then I'm sort of doing everything myself, really. I haven't got a label, um, but I'm, quite happy with that at the moment and it yeah. sort of seems to be working for me it's a lot of work do you know doing everything yourself but I think in the long run it's I'm um, I think it's going to pay off um, and it's quite nice to sort of it's quite satisfying to feel like right I actually did that and I got that out there and it you know it has been a bit of a long time coming mm. and actually as I was just saying that Jarvis Cocker just played a song on his Sunday service and that was that was funny because you know I'm really trying to plug the EP but actually he'd he'd reminded me of this live release that I'd done from several residencies that I've done down in Albra um, so in that sense it's not my first release official release but for me solo release it is yeah and you've mentioned obviously quite a few people that you're, you're you've worked with and yeah. you continue to work with and, and you've as well as the people you've mentioned already there's you've drawn in quite a few friends to be to be on the EP yeah yeah I've got I've got lots of those friends I mean they feature in quite you know s subtle way it's um, and Leo and I sort of you know we turn lots of, even though it's, it's only five songs but we we changed our minds quite a lot during the process of how much to layer it up or not mm. um, and I've actually had a lot of experience recording, although I haven't, um, you know, it doesn't show yet. I've got a lot of unreleased recordings, which I'm hoping I might put out one day. Uh, so I've worked with lots of, you know, different engineers and producers who have very different approaches. And I think in a way when Leo and I were working together, it sort of evolved into something different. And we both realized that I needed something that sounded quite live actually okay. yeah um and i'm hoping that you know over the years i will get in the studio and collaborate with lots of different people also producers i really hope so obviously with a bit of control freakery left in there but um you know, I hope there comes a time when I do make some records which are quite produced and quite experimental and exploring different sound worlds that are not just acoustic, mm. you know, instruments. But I think at the moment, 
because it's sort of the early stages of my recording career and output. I'd like to keep it real. Yeah. Um, one thing which would go along with what you were saying about the, the music being sort of having a live sound. I think the, yeah. other, the other thing I, I, I kind of I kind of personally sort of took from the EP was a sort of sense of intimacy. It felt right. because it was very. I mean, th there are uh, other instruments there, but as you said, they're very subtle, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's the right thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we were going for. <laughs> because those songs are very, you know, of, of that ilk. I mean, hopefully they're not just self-indulgent and they are touching on, slight, through slightly odd themes, touching on obviously wider, more universal themes. But yeah, quite consciously, there's a, there's a sort of, uh, diary-ish aspect to them, yeah. And when you're writing songs, what's that process like? Do, do you take a long time to write songs or do some come quicker or slower? Definitely some come quicker and some come slower. Um, again, I still feel like it's, it's sort of early stages, although now I'm, I'm very um, sort of hungry to make an album. I feel like I've got more than enough backlog of material. So in a sense, uh, as well, this EP is about that and sort of saying, right, here I am, and hopefully it's going to be followed up soon. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's still, I don't think I have a set way of, of working yeah. or writing, really. And even the songs on the EP all came very differently. Some of them very laboured and, and some of them very quick. So, yeah. I, I hope that stays the same really. I think it would feel odd if it always just, I mean, I know of, I know of songwriters who <laughs> sort of uh, actually even judge themselves and say, if it doesn't come within, you know, 10 minutes, then it, it's gonna be shit or you can't write or, and actually I did a songwriting course with Ray Davis. He'd come to a few shows and, and he's, I mean, he's not, he doesn't have quite that approach, but well, he was great because he really tried to help me not lose the initial, the kernel of what the idea is. Because okay. that I think, you know, with my classical training and my sort of stupidly um, analytical mind, uh, you know, I can tend to sort of lose, lose, the, lose the thread mm -hmm. sometimes. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that leads me on to ask what inspires you? I mean, what inspires you to write a song? Is, 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 is it specific places or inst in instances? I think mood, actually, often a, a mood, not necessarily my own mood, God forbid. Uh, yeah, place, place definitely, but, but in a slightly metaphysical way, I think, yeah. And actually the times when I've written something fast, I think the song that I'm going to play in a bit, Holiday, that, that, was a, that was quite a revelation for me because it did happen incredibly. That's the quickest I've ever written anything and it almost just came out in one go. But it didn't happen just by accident. I actually sort of almost deliberately tuned into a mood I was in. Um, I was in a, in a really great space where I'd moved my piano because um, I couldn't have it in my own house for various reasons. And um, someone sort of in an ad hoc place out in far out in the east and it's in an old school. And it's, you know, it's quite run down stuff, but there's these big west-facing windows and just looks out onto a playing field and uh, it's a really atmospheric place to work, really great place to work and I'd been just sort of had a tea break and a cigarette break and, and I, I just suddenly there was a bit of a sort of mood that came over me and I had all these and I really consciously was like right I'm gonna put the recorder on <laughs> and I'm just gonna sit and and that was pretty much it you know with a few bits of changing a chord here and there that was yeah so mood to be very unspecific <laughs> <laughs> I know some people find this quite hard but when do you know that a song's finished do, do, is, is it <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible question to ask me yeah I don't <laughs> and actually you know hear it, hearing this recording I'd forgotten about on Jarvis's Sunday service has literally made me go back to a song I mean, this song in particular has had many different lives. It's had about three, four different titles. Um, it's even had someone else come in and try and add a chorus to it. But having listened on Sunday to this old initial version of it, 
Actually, there's an, the, the first version is a sort of sketch in a friend's basement studio on a Juno, which I still quite like, and lots of people say that's their favourite. But then I did this live version with loads of Baroque musicians in Albra, which is the one he played, and I think, um, I think I'm going to go back to that one now, and I think I'm going to use the chorus that, that I carved out with someone else and maybe turn that into another song. So, so maybe it changes depending on my mood, whether I think something's finished or not. But that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I, I think it's fair to say you like performing. You like being, yeah. you like people to come and hear your music live. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And in that sense, I think that makes me not feel like I've been too slow in terms of putting recordings out. Um, and it's hard to say how things will go, but I, what I would really, because I've always loved, I have always, even since I was really young, for some reason I've ended up doing studio things and sort of almost sessiony things since I was quite young. And I've always really loved that side of working. Mm. Um, but it just happens that a lot of it hasn't been put out. But, but it is obviously very different and it feels exciting at the moment because I hope that the two things are going to run, you know, more parallel with a sort of perhaps equal output. Well, no, I mean, obviously you're always gigging more, but um, yeah. I think you, you talked about it a little bit earlier on, but uh, I presume you're going to go back in the studio and record, and, and, and record an album soon? Yeah, I mean, the plans aren't set in stone. <laughs> um, if someone offers me uh, lots of money, that would be great to make it. Although I don't think, because because I'm, I want to, at least for the first album, I'm pretty sure, you know, unless some amazing producer suddenly came along was like, I know just what you need and I love the idea. I don't, um, I think my vision for the first album and the songs that I want to put on it, I think it wouldn't be that dissimilar to the sound world of the EP, quite intimate and, um, yeah, there's, there's a few people who've, quite exciting people who've shown interest um, without naming any names, but certainly certainly the people that I would like to work on and who I'm in discussions with uh, are more of the old school, the sort of 60s approach of get a great mic, get a great room, place everything in the most brilliant way and capture it. You know, I mean, I'm not so puritanical that it's like I don't want overdubs and all this stuff. And also, you end up often having to do overdubs because if you don't have a huge budget, you know, that's that's how you have to do it. You can't get everyone in the same place. And uh, but yeah, th those are the plans so far. Are you, exci are you excited for what's going to come? What's coming next? Hopefully. Yeah, I'm ve I'm very excited. Yeah, I feel like I feel like music's always been you know, pretty enormous driving force in my life without question. But mixing that with self-belief and sort of a healthy dose of ambition and as you know, it's quite for me to even hear you saying you want to get heard. It's like, I think that's been quite a recent mm. sort of self-realization of like, actually you do want to get heard and you do want to do this. So get the fuck on with it. <laughs> Sorry, can't swear on interview, but I did. Um, yeah. You're also playing uh, at the King's Place Festival this year. Yeah. What, what have you got planned for that? Um, well, it's quite a while away, so I'm, I'm uh, hoping that I can keep my options a little bit open. But um, uh, yeah, well, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping I might have even made the album by then. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think I'll leave that one to be, uh, and I, I think it will probably have many of the similar people who are going to come in on the EP launch, you know, some really amazing musicians. Leo, Leo Abrahams, who recorded the EP, has just said he'll come and join me, and um, hopefully David Kumu from The Invisible and, and Jem Viner from The Pogues, really wonderful um, musician and friend, and who uh, really makes me have to turn my head around about how I approach things. Yeah. Um, so hopefully more, more of them in the festival. Yeah, and then, as I was just saying, I'll be joining Alistair for the, 
for the next gig that night for another sort of new project that we haven't yet explored. So that'll be exciting. But at the end of the day, this you've got all these friends, everyone's helped you, but this is a project is all about you. <laughs> That's terrible. That's a trick question. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Um, well, I hope it isn't all about me. I hope it's about just sharing some good music with people. Yeah. And, and uh, moving people, taking them somewhere else with some music and some songs. Olivia Cheney, thank you. All right. Semblable monte où est le reine qui commanda que Buridan faut jeter nos cinq au sel, mais je sens les neiges d'antan. Faut jeter nos cinq au sel, mais je sens les neiges d'antan. Chanta ta voix de sereine, Beto Grand, Bibitrice Alice, Arambo, Jusquita le Mène, Et Jeanne la bonne Lorraine, Quand Glabulaire ta Rouen, Où sont-ils, Vierges souveraines, Mais où sont les neiges d'antan? Où sont-ils, Vierges souveraines?